All right, guys, Cooper's Cuts here. <clears throat> Got some update. Trailer, what? Put the sides on it. Put lawn care. Phone number. Um, got the cone on here. Put this tube on here for the hand tools. It can hold like two shovels or two rakes and a shovel. It can hold like three or four. Um, <clears throat> that's the most I'll need. I mean, it's just gonna be me. But maybe our 10 year old son with us. So, uh, no, the sides are cool, man. They turned out really nice. They look good. I put a paint and primer mix on here. It's a latex, it's black. I put the first coat on, it soaked into the wood real good and you can see the grain. And then I put a second coat over it just to seal it up real good. I want it to protect the wood too. Um, reinforced it. I lost a little bit. I put some tie downs in here. I got this here. And then I got these in the corners. And then I got two more over there. Bam, bam. And then I got those up there. Um, just to kind of give me some spots to put bungee cords or straps for the equipment. What was I gonna say? Yeah, so I'm ready, man. Uh, put the mulching blades on this machine. Did a tune up on this. Oil filter, changed the oil, fuel filter. Took the gas tank off, switched it around, took all the grass out, filtered it through a cloth and back into the gas can. And then back into here, um, got it all out, works great. Uh, fired it up, man, it fired up nice, it's quiet, smoother, it's not as, <clears throat> you know, now it's just like a, <clears throat> change the blade on there. I'm probably gonna have to change the drive belt because when I was changing the blade, I noticed that the belt wasn't in the greatest of shape. Um, I don't know how much that costs getting to the point now where it's like man we just keep spending a lot of money that we don't really have uh got a couple of these to put stuff in you know grass clippings leaves i'm gonna mulch them and bag them get them collected that way so that way it takes up less space uh got some of these yard signs here got some glasses you know you got you guys seen that already this um, be in the car, it's gonna be in the car. This, or excuse me, it's gonna be in the truck, because I have a truck coming, it's getting shipped up here. And it should be here on Sunday, and it's a gift from a family member. And um, it's gonna be nice, I'm gonna do a video on that. It's a diesel, 6.5 turbo diesel. So it's gonna be a good work truck, it's got a long bed on it, super cab. It's got the 122, Lear topper on it with the locks on the back so I can use that for storage or clippings or whatever I need to do that day. Um, it's a Chevy 2500, so it's a three quarter ton, it's a bigger truck. Four wheel drive, automatic. I'm, I'm excited about it, man. I haven't had a truck in a while, man. I love trucks. Um, obviously, I had to get rid of my truck a long time ago, I had to get rid of a couple trucks. And I uh, got the Subaru Legacy to commute back and forth, save gas, and it's all-wheel drive, so it does get in the winter time. But man, I love a truck, man. And then not having to drive a whole lot with it too, man, it's gonna be worth it. Diesels do a little bit better on gas mileage. Um, anyways, got the edger attachment on here. Um, got the dethatching blade on this, which I'm gonna use for the dethatching. Uh, I'm eventually going to get the pull behind aerator and dethatching John Deere combo for this. And then I'm going to get the hitch for it. Uh, I got this Earthway broadcast spreader. Bought this used from a guy. He had two of these. These are 100 pounders. And then he had a round uh, 50 pounder. And he basically was getting out of it because he said that the workman's comp issues and different things like that, he just, he doesn't want to be in lawn care no more. Selling all of his little Honda push mowers and he had a couple commercial, couple commercial walk behinds with the Velkies on them. But he's asking like $5,500 for those and they're just, I, I seen him in the shop and they just look like junk to me. Oh, that one's got a brand new motor in it. I'm like, yeah, that's cool, man. But the whole thing is junk, man. 
It's all different colors and painted different. It looks like something that you would take a bunch of different parts off of different machines and put together to make one. And I just, $5,500. Well, first of all, we don't have the money, so I can't even entertain the, the thought of buying it. But if I did, I wouldn't buy it. But anyways, and then we got the backpack blower over there hanging on the wall. Just kind of got things a little more streamlined here. Um, just trying to get ready for the summer. I don't want to have a bunch of crap everywhere. I got the blades here. I got to sharpen these. These came off of the John Deere and then the Toro. Or no, and then the, um, I don't even know, the MTD yard machine. <laughs> That I'm using as my dethatching mower, and then the other blade came off of the Toro. But um, I put the plates on here. Bam! Got the grizzly bear on them. And then whenever I whenever I do any any drilling holes through the metal, any those are uh, metal screws that I put on there, metal self tappers. Spray it with a little bit of paint. You know what I'm saying? I'm not trying to get like 10, 20 years out of this trailer, man, but I at least need it to last me, you know. Uh, so I always clean it up just for longevity. Mm, what was I going to say? Oh, yeah, I got the applicator's test. I'm going to do the three-day class on the 18th. Got the books for it. Bam. Uh, Watch some videos on the math portion. I heard the math portion is pretty difficult. So I've been watching the videos on that just because I want to have a good understanding of it, man. And it seems pretty simple, really. I mean, they throw a lot of information at you to try to confuse you. But if you just write down what they tell you, the information that you do know from the question itself, and then find the answer that they're looking for. It's not that hard. The hardest ones are probably going to be round areas or like a half round with a flat side. I mean, because you got to do the pi r squared and you got to do the whole equation that way but uh you are allowed to take a calculator and i believe that the lady told me this is the last year that they're allowing the open book um i was told that if you do really good on the test you don't have to retake it for three years so i'm trying to ace it because i don't want to have to keep going back in every year doing that anyways um oh yeah embrace your role as the underdog okay because you have, you're hungry and you have more to prove. You have everything to gain and nothing to lose. Don't forget that. I got two customers already. They're gonna want weekly services, cleanups. Uh, one customer is gonna want a um, a deep thatching and then a fertilizer and then possibly a weeded feed or just a weed application after that. She says she gets a lot of weeds that pop up throughout the summer sometimes and she doesn't wanna go through that again. So yeah, man, uh, and then I might have a third customer through my buddy, his sister, who helped get us into our house. She has a yard that she wants me to take a look at. Not a big yard. I Google Earth it. It's going to take me like 10 minutes to do with a push mower, with the 22-inch push mower. It'll take me like 10 minutes, maybe. So we're going to see how that goes. But, you know, again, just passing out business cards, man. I've been went did door hangers. Got our Facebook going with a promotion to win a free mowing and trimming of your yard. So we're gonna do that. And then again, you know, take pictures with them and put that on Facebook and show that they won. Um, so that way people know that things are real. I mean, gosh, I've signed up for so many things. I've never won nothing, man. And I always think, damn, that's not even real. Like, I don't even believe it happened. I don't even think they gave a winner. They just wanted people to I don't know, but anyways, um, there's gonna be a winner from Cooper's Cuts, and I don't care. Um, I'm not gonna pick the winner. I'm gonna have somebody else pick the winner, just to keep it on the up and up, and it has to be somebody that they don't know, um, where I can do any research at all, just random, them, and then uh, contact them, you know, obviously via Facebook, and let them know that they won, get the address, and then uh, schedule time, and go clean them up. We still got snow on the ground, so I'm just getting anxious. Uh, haven't done a lot of videos, because we've just been getting busy getting everything going, so. Uh, I don't know what else to say, man. When I get the truck, 
Uh, I got some tools coming with it. I got a chainsaw and I got another weed eater. Um, a, ba a hitch basket for my wife's car that we're going to use in the winter time to put a snow blower on for snow removal. Um, then some other stuff, you know, rakes and shovels and there's a gas can that they put in there for me, a little no spill, one of those round metal no spill ones, which I think those are pretty cool. They're older gas cans, but I was, I've always really liked those. You know, they got the little lift up handle on them and the little thing comes up. Um, I mean, I got four gas cans down there right now and then I'm getting that one too. The whole thing is, man, is that, I mean, I can use these and I know they're not the, uh, the no spill and then they're not the sure can brands either but man i went to home depot and lowe's and i looked at those man they want like 40 dollars for those i'm like damn 40 bucks man i know it's a nice trash can or a nice gas can but 40 dollars mm. man then i'd have to get two of them because i gotta have one for mix and i gotta have one for regular gas so i mean we're just not there yet man just not there yet but um anyways man i'm still alive and kicking i got two customers i'm gonna do videos they're letting me put yard signs out those will be my first two official you know mowing trimming edge and clean up videos and then we'll see how that goes so all right guys cooper's cuts